Hello and welcome to another video about a very interesting instructional strategy used in inclusive classrooms called Team Teaching. Team Teaching or Co-Teaching is gaining importance in the Indian school system. It is becoming a common practice in schools, especially in lower classes, to have two teachers dealing with the daily routine of the class students. The reason behind its acceptance in schools is the phenomenon of crowded classrooms. Schools have classes where one teacher may need to handle more than 50 students at a time. Hence, team teaching is being used. So join me, Dr. Sunanda Roy, to explore this instructional strategy called team teaching. Team teaching involves a group of instructors working purposefully, regularly and cooperatively to help a group of students of any age. Teachers together set goals or objectives of a course, design a syllabus, prepare individual lesson plans, teach students and evaluate the results. Team teaching is two or more teachers delivering instructions at the same time in the same physical space to a heterogeneous group of students. This instructional strategy is extensively used in an inclusive setup as teachers need to handle students with different needs and abilities. There is a difference between team teaching and co-teaching. When there are two teachers in the classroom, then it's co-teaching. So, schools that have assistant teachers or mother teachers are following the co-teaching instructional strategy. In team teaching, there are more than two teachers teaching in the classroom. So, there are a team of teachers. Team teaching is a wide concept as it has many models. The models are primarily co-teaching models but can be applied to team teaching as well. Let's learn about each of these models. In one teach, one observe team teaching model, one teacher is primarily responsible for delivering the instructions to the entire class. The other teacher or teachers serve as intentional observers. While observing, these teachers observe and record students' behavior, students' understanding, or even the teaching teacher's style and behavior. This type of model is used for students displaying behavioral problems. It can be used to handle students with attention deficit hyperactive disorder or ADHD who need special care to maintain and sustain their attention. It is also useful in dealing with classes having discipline problems. In the one teach one or more assist or drip model, teachers divide the teaching responsibility so that one teacher delivers the lesson and the other teachers monitors and assists students that may need help. As teachers move around the class, it is called one teach one drift model also. In an inclusive setup, the teacher who monitors could be a special teacher catering to the needs of the differently able students. For example, this model can be used in case there are physically challenged students who need help with using their limbs while writing or doing other motor activities. The station team teaching model allows each teacher to work with smaller groups of students. The teachers divide the students into groups and create activities for students to engage with the lesson material along with the assistance of other teachers. These stations can involve the teaching of new content, reinforcement of previously learned material, or challenging activities for students that are ready. Group work can be conducted using models of teaching. This way, the individual students' needs can be catered to as the crowded class is divided into manageable groups. 
The groups can be a mixed one consisting of both regular or typical students with the students with disabilities or who are also called as uh, students who are differently abled. In this way, they can learn from each other under the supervision of the teacher. In the parallel team teaching model, teachers divide the class in half or more groups. Each teacher works with one of the groups of students teaching the exact same content. Teachers can decide to divide the groups randomly or divide the class according to readiness level of the lesson or preferred learning style. For example, if the teachers are aware of the learning styles of their students, then they could group the visual learners and provide them with visual aids for learning. The same could be done with auditory and kinesthetic learners. The content remains the same, but the learning becomes more effective as it is delivered in the mode preferred by the learners. This model is also useful for sensory challenged students like the hearing and the visually challenged students. In the alternative or differentiated lesson model, one of the teachers teaches the main lesson to majority of the class. The other teachers work with a small group of students to either provide remedial help for slow learners or to extend the lesson with more challenging material for the gifted students. This model is useful to deal with all types of students having different learning abilities. Mentally challenged students can be given remedial assistance during the class. Giving them immediate remedial assistance does not require them to be taken out of the class or made to stay back after school hours, but allows them to be in the class along with their peers during the teaching learning process. Teaming, also known as team teaching, involves both or more teachers working together to deliver instructions to the same group of students at the same time. This is used when teachers have expertise in different aspects of the content being taught. Contents which are interdisciplinary in nature are best suited for this model of team teaching. In an inclusive setup, the special teachers along with the regular teachers use different techniques and strategies for teaching while dealing with a common content. Teachers can also divide responsibilities like one teacher could show the various teaching aids and the other could help with the discipline. This model is very useful when dealing with a very large number of students. These models are classified according to the level of active participation or responsibilities that are divided amongst the co-teachers. It ranges from having a main active teacher with other passive teachers to all teachers being actively involved in the teaching learning process. So at one end, we have one teach and one observe where the main teacher is most active while the other teachers are passive. However, on the other end, in teaming or team teaching, all teachers are active and have equal responsibilities to deliver the instructions. So here, there is equal sharing of responsibilities. Team teaching has become popular in inclusive classrooms as it has many advantages for students. Like team teaching can lead to increase in, in understanding and retention. As inputs are enriched with variety, drilling of concepts takes place, there is an increase in comprehension. Learning with comprehension is remembered for a longer period of time. Hence, there is increase in retention. So, students remember things for a much longer period of time. Team teaching also provides different viewpoints. It helps students to consider different viewpoints rather than one teacher's black and white way of looking at the world. 
students get to know that there can be different viewpoints regarding a concept and it increases their flexibility of accepting different opinions regarding the same concept. Having one teacher may restrict their opportunities of getting to know only one example or a particular point of view. However, a group of teachers will provide many more examples and illustrations. This enriches the student's understanding of the concept as he gets to see through the eyes of different perspectives. Team teaching also caters to a variety of learning styles as it is very flexible in nature. This allows the teachers to use different teaching approaches and techniques. As regular teachers team up with special teachers, it helps all types of students to get appropriate assistance in learning. Differently able students get access to the general education curriculum and the general education settings. This is very essential for students who want to pursue higher education. This strategy will ensure that the differently able students or students with disabilities will receive specialized instructions. All students get individualized attention as per their needs. Team teaching reduces negative stigma. It helps bring the resources needed by diverse learners into the classroom. Hence, differently able students don't need to be pulled out from their classrooms during the teaching learning process. Hence, it reduces the negative stigma and such students do not develop inferiority complex. This instructional strategy may encourage differently able students to bond better with their peers and helps in their socialization. So these are the advantages that team teaching has for students. Team teaching also has its advantages for teachers too. Let's have a look at them. Teachers vary in their strengths and limitations. Team teaching helps to overcome a teacher's limitations. Some teachers may be very good in explaining but are not that skillful in using assistive technologies like blackboards, computers or even making different types of worksheets. In such cases, the teachers can collaborate and take help from other skillful teachers and overcome their limitations. As it consists of a team, teachers may feel more confident in using new teaching techniques. In case there are some hurdles, the co-teacher can provide assistance in creating a supportive environment. Thus, it helps teachers to try out new teaching methodologies and eventually increase their skills as teachers. For example, in the present times, when online teaching is being used a lot, team teaching, where teachers play the role of hosts or moderators during online teaching learning sessions, has become very popular. So one teacher delivers the online instructions while the other teachers act as co-hosts keeping track on students' activities and learning progress. So team teaching has helped to solve a lot of issues since te the teacher who is delivering the instructions is not able to see all the students online, especially if the teacher is sharing her screen. Here, the co-teachers help in keeping a check on the student's progress. Team teaching is very useful for teachers who have problems in disciplining the class. The co-teachers can handle the discipline and give individual attention to students during the teaching learning process. Teachers also get a chance to collaborate and learn from one another. When regular teachers work with special teachers, they will be able to increase their teaching capacities and capabilities while dealing with the differently able students. Though team teaching has its advantages, there are certain precautions. Let's have a look at them too. These are precautions that teachers need to follow for successful implementation of team teaching strategy in the classroom. The teachers need to be flexible. 
and open regarding the change in the dynamics in the classroom. They need to accept sharing their status with other teachers in the classroom. Team teaching requires a lot of cooperation and coordination amongst the team teachers. The teachers in a team need to plan in detail every session. There should be no competition but cooperation and collaboration between the teachers. Teachers need to accept constructive criticism and not get involved in ego clashes. The main aim of the teachers should be to deliver enriched instructions to students. Teachers should be open to each other's views. In case the teachers have different views, they should respect them and avoid getting into a conflict in front of students. Teachers should also plan in advance. Too many ideas may cause confusion in the minds of the students. A case of too many cooks spoil the broth should be avoided. The sessions at times may become super interactive and teachers may forget to link it with the content being taught. Hence, teachers need to plan in advance what they will be sharing with the students. Teachers should be aware of the time management and not get carried away with unnecessary discussion. This will become a hurdle in completing the curriculum in the stipulated period of time. Also, the teachers should remember that they should talk to the students one at a time. If they all talk together to the students, then it will become a chaotic classroom and that should be avoided. If done properly, co-teaching and team teaching can be effective tools for successful learning. These are the references I have used to prepare the content of this video. You will find the link of these references in the description box for further reading. Do go through them. Team teaching may require a lot of effort and coordination. However, it promotes overall growth and development for both teachers and students. I have often used co-teaching to cater to bilingual classrooms. And let me tell you, it's great fun once you get the hang of it. So give it a try. Of course, you need to have good rapport with your co-teachers. Team teaching is a successful inclusive instructional strategy like blended learning, remedial teaching and cooperative learning. I hope you have watched my videos on these inclusive instructional strategies. If you have not, you will find the links in the description box and also on the screen. Please feel free to share the video if you find the topic interesting. So go ahead and collaborate with your co-teachers because alone we are smart but together we are brilliant. Thank you for watching the video.